Lumber prices are finally starting to drop. Post-COVID lumber prices finally going down. What does this mean for investors like you? Welcome to another episode of the S. James Wise Show. And today, man, today is a good show. Steve, are you fucking ready, bro? I am ready. What are we talking about today, dog? Lumber prices. Are they going down? Yes! 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 They are finally going down, man. Where's that sweet chart we just had, right? This is uh, this is what life has been like, man. COVID, right? Y'all, y'all heard of COVID? <laughs> COVID sucks, right? And, uh, you know, a bajillion things happened. I don't want to get into all that, but one of the things that happened, right, is lumber prices. They went way up, right? This is uh, price per thousand board feet, okay? Used to be down there, and then it got way up here, right? We're talking like all-time high around 1,600 per thousand feet, right? That is ridiculous right we're talking like freaking 300 percent increase okay but a lot of you guys that are investing in real estate right a lot of you guys you're not really building new houses right so what what does that mean for you right what does that mean for investors like you well despite covid okay everybody thought when covid popped off there was going to be this like housing burst right like the the prices were just going to go down but it didn't happen right prices actually just kept going up the housing market kept getting stronger and stronger right and board prices lumber prices right that has something to do with it okay so this is good for real estate investors right here's the deal folks it's trickle down effect right the more money wood costs is the more money it costs to build houses right so you had people uh, that were not as inclined to build homes, right? The more money it costs to build a home, the less people are going to build homes, right? When there's fewer people building homes, what does that mean? That means there's less homes. So when the demand remains the same for housing, but the supply is decreased, guess what goes up, fuckers? The price, right? The price goes up, right? So for a lot of you out there that are investing in real estate markets, right, you're seeing that the markets are continuing to rise and rise and rise and rise, right? We saw it all across the country, right? doesn't matter what type of rental property you're buying. doesn't matter if you're a spec buyer, this or that, right? Pretty much every market in the USA, right? You're seeing those prices go up, right? So now there's all kinds of articles, right? All kinds of articles are getting published in the last couple of days, right? Let me X out of some of this stuff. I was just reading some, right? Uh, we got all types of stuff uh, talking about the prices finally going down, right? So here we are, late June 2021. Lumber prices are finally dropping. Now, you're not going to necessarily see that at your local Home Depot or Lowe's for quite some time, right? This happens at a larger scale from, like, your mills and this or that. But it's going to trickle down, and you're going to see those prices going down. New construction's going to start rising again. That means the supply is going to increase, so the demand for current homes that are already built should decrease, given that we have an increased supply. So real estate investors out there, you might start to see some softening up of these markets. And then other investors that this could benefit, such as my Burr investors, right? All you buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat folks, okay? You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. You might want to look in to purchasing some bird deals, but hold off on doing your big old renos, right? It's very possible if you pick up a deal, right? that you think is going to make a lot of sense to renovate, you could go ahead and just pause your renovations. Give it another six months or so. You might find that your cost to get to that ARV, right, it could dramatically go down. However, you got you to play the out. You got to look, though. For every good, there's a bad, right? It's also possible your ARV might dip a little bit, but it's definitely very likely that your cost to handle those renovations are going to go down because we are seeing 
lumber prices go back down finally and also other things right that's going to happen to those builders and folks in the construction trades as uh all the continued covid unemployment benefits are starting to run out you're going to see more folks getting back into the labor pool so uh these people building homes right in addition to their materials costing less it's easier for them to staff their companies so you're definitely going to see an increase in new builds which again is going to decrease the cost of current properties, right? So investors, you're going to see a softening in the market. You're going to see lower renovation bids. So it's up to you to look at that like, oh, what's going to make more sense, right? Do I pay the increased price on my bird deals now while the market's super duper hot? Or do I gamble a little bit, let uh, the renovation costs go down? And when you're doing a burr, it's not necessarily a sale, it's a burr. So appraisers are usually a few steps behind. So they're going to be looking at older comps, which might be at the peak. So I think that's the move, right? I think it's a good move to hold off on like extremely large renovations. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, folks. This is the Ask James Wise Show. We talk about real estate, all types of stuff you want to know. Let's talk about it. Shoot those questions into my team. Shoot them in the comments. Whatever you guys want to talk about. Uh, if I think it's a, something that would make sense, be a pretty entertaining show, we will do so. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.